Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to cover the train paradox. This is a very interesting paradox related to Einstein's special relativity. So I highly recommend you to watch our previous videos on special relativity here in the channel. Let's first understand the scenario for the paradox, okay? We have a train with an observer inside, observer B, and another observer that's outside the train, observer A, okay? This train here is moving at a very, very uh, high speed, very close to the speed of light, okay? And, well, it's passing through a tunnel that's exactly same, the same size of the train, all right? So here, we're going to take a look uh, in what both observers are actually seeing, okay, B and A. So let's go through the paradox. First, let's take a look into A's perspective, okay, observer A perspective, that's outside the train. So for observer A, he's actually, he's seeing the train, okay, at a very high speed, close to the speed of light, passing through this tunnel here, okay? So the train is at a very high speed. So if you remember, at very high speed, speeds we have a length contraction. So observer A is actually seeing uh, the train move at very high speed. And if you remember the equation from our previous videos, okay? The length for A will actually be shorter than the length for B. So the length of the train is smaller, okay? So the, for observer A, the train shrinks. So he would see something like this. Uh, so the tunnel is not moving, would be the same size for observer A, but the train would shrink. And he would see that the train fits perfectly inside the tunnel, right? That's the perspective of A, right? The train shrinks so he fits inside the tunnel. Let's go now for observer B. Right, so into B, uh, B's perspective, all right? Uh, everything, into according to his perspective, uh, everything is moving around him. Okay, so he is in the train, the train is not moving, but everything around here is moving at a very, very, very high speed, close to the speed of light. So for observer B, the tunnel is moving at a very high speed towards him. Okay, that's his perspective. Uh, so again, we have that the length shrinks, okay, the length uh, contracts according to B. So, because the tunnel is moving, so the tunnel is contracting, is shrinking, okay? So, for observer B, the tunnel shrinks. So, what we have is something like this. So, when he passes through the tunnel, actually, the train, he sees the train bigger than the tunnel itself. Okay, so that's the perspective for B. The tunnel shrinks, not the train. Well, so now we have a paradox, right? Because for observer A, that's outside the train, the train uh, fits perfectly inside the tunnel. It disappears inside the tunnel. Now for observer B, it's bigger than the tunnel. So what's really happening, right? So to test this, what's really happening, let's do some experiments here. Let's pu put this both... Uh, put these two walls here, okay, at the entrance and the exit of the train. And when the train enters the tunnel, we're going to close both uh, walls, both exit and entrance at the same time, simultaneously, okay? So for observer A, uh, he's seeing the train, and when he gets inside, he closes both walls, okay? And open again. Okay, so he closes and opens very fast, all right? Well, then the, the train keeps moving, all right? For observer A, it's 
okay the train will be intact because it's shorter than the tunnel right so when it enters the doors close and opens and the train leaves the tunnel intact now let's take a look what happens for observer b well now for observer b the train is shorter than the tunnel right so when it enters the tunnel and the other observer closes the walls right closes the, the exit and entrance well it would hit the train right according to a because he's closing the wall simultaneously so the train would actually be damaged at least right we would destroy the train but so what's really happening so here's the paradox right so when they do it they close the walls okay the entrance and exit is the train like going to be intact or not for observer a it looks like yes but for observer b no right so here's the paradox how come how can the the, the train be intact and not at the same time right the same experiment well actually we can explain this uh, using relativity so to answer this paradox we actually use relativity right so for yes for observer a the train is intact because it fits perfectly the tunnel the doors close simultaneously opens and the train gets out of the tent the, the tunnel intact okay so for observer b well the train must be intact also right because the same reality so what we actually see from B's perspective is the following. So he starts entering the, the tunnel, the door in front of him, the exit door closes and opens, the train keeps going, and then he sees the door, the entrance door closing, closing sorry, and opening. So see that this action here of closing the, the entrance and exit of the tunnel for B, okay, into B's perspective, this event is not simultaneous. Okay, for A it is simultaneous, but for B it's not. So what we see in special relativity, according to different perspectives, is that simultaneity is not absolute, but depends on the observer's reference frame. Even though for A the events the events happened simultaneously, for B it didn't. Okay, and that's the answer we have for this paradox. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Physics can be easy. Subscribe to our channel and learn with the geeks.